and we back, we back, we back with another video. Welcome back to my channel and today, to freaking day. This has been a highly requested video because I know a lot of you guys are going to or thinking about coming to Holloway in 2021. So I'm going to give you an update about everything you need to know about Royal Holloway. It's a pandemic edition. Let's get into the video. <laughs> I'm going to be talking about six main topics area, accommodation, sports and societies, jobs, overall vibe, and of course, freshers. So, if you want to know more about freshers in particular, make sure you stay to the end of the video because I am going to be giving you the absolute tea about freshers, especially during a pandemic. So firstly, we're gonna talk about the area. As you know, or as you should know, <laughs> Royal Holloway is based in Egham, which is the small little town in Surrey. Egham is quite small, and in the town, we literally only have a high street that has like a Tesco's, a Waitrose, um, some corner shops, Shops, and that's literally it. <laughs> we do have we do have a lot of pubs actually. We have the Pack Horse, the Happy Man. I think it's the Red Lion. Um, there's like loads of different kind of like oh the Armstrong Gun. I love the Armstrong Gun. But there's really like loads of different small kind of like I think they're like family owned kind of pubs, which is really really cute. Um, and it's quite cozy. I like I like it because it's quite cozy. I think I said this before the other video, but. It's cozy or whatever. But that's Egham, and then Staines will have all your bigger shops. It has a shopping center. It'll have your Debenhams, your TK Maxx. It'll have your Nando's, your Pizza Hut, your McDonald's. It'll have your, um, your like, activity places so it has like a cinema and stuff um so people go to people go to stains for the bigger things they want to go out and have a you know a meal in a in a chain restaurant that they know and they love windsor is um it's pretty good it has a lot of places like to shop it's, it has like an outside shopping center if that makes sense so just like a whole street of shops um and it, ha it has a lot of charity shops which i personally love to go to and a lot of cute restaurants as well. It does have chain restaurants like Nando's, McDonald's, etc. But it has a lot of like cute restaurants that are just like aesthetically pleasing and a lot of public attractions. So you have the Windsor Castle, which people love to go to, the like the really long walk thingy. <laughs> I don't know how else to explain it. It's literally um, a pavement and grass but people really like it for the views so there's that yeah <laughs> but yeah that's literally the area in a nutshell definitely do a bit of research if you're looking for something particular i know someone was asking me about a bookstore i think i think windsor might have it i'm not too sure but definitely if you're looking for if you're thinking about going to royal holloway and you're looking to see if something that you really like is nearby in the area definitely have a look on google maps or just do a little bit of research to find out if it is close to the uni accommodation i really like talking about this because it is my forte it is my forte <laughs> in my last video i talked about accommodation but i talked about it in regards into location and price however we in a pandemic we don't care about the location or the price we care about the vibe that is <laughs> that is the main focus because i promise you you do not as a fresher want to pick an accommodation that doesn't have fresher vibes if you've actually had a look on the website to see the list of accoms i have ranked the top five that are most suited for freshers to have that freaking vibe. Number one has to be the almighty George Eliot. If you come to this uni, you will find out how famous George Eliot is because it has some something about it. It's just a vibe. Like, I think, I think mostly it's because the kitchen space and the like living area bit is just so big that a lot of people tend to have motives there. And George Eliot is the place to be. George Eliot is the place to be because it just have a vibe, it just has a vibe, you know? It just has that vibe. And the security know this. That's why they're always in George Eliot, sniffing out where the next one's gonna be. <laughs> You know? <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, the rooms are... Nah, nah, nah. Like, my room, for example, has a lot of floor space. And yes, George Eliot is big. 
um, but because it's a double bed you don't have that much floor space uh, most of it's taken up by the bed and by the um, the big like wardrobe thingy so if floor space is important to you then maybe maybe not George Eliot's for you but make sure you have friends in George Eliot because <laughs> George Eliot is a vibe it is the ultimate place for just getting to know people and it has it's like its own little community at number two I put Chuke however at number three I've also put Butler and they're literally along the same lines they're li they're, no they're literally like next to each other but um I've only put two because number two because I I went there more for first year Chuke and Butler are located around Medicine which is you know towards the bottom of the hill of where the university is. It's still very much on campus, it's still quite centrally located and the way that the block is laid out is it's, mm, how do I explain this? So you go in and you have like a floor, you'll have like four floors for example and on every floor there'll be three different flats. So for example you have the first floor and then you'll have um, flat 1A, flat 1B, flat 1C and in each flat you'll have like eight rooms and each room is an ensuite and you'll have like a kitchen shared between those eight people so potentially if you're living on one floor you literally have the potential to meet and socialize with not just those seven other people in your flat but the 16 other people that live in other flats as well on your floor at number three is weed up and at oh wedderburn <laughs> At number four is Wedderburn because Wedderburn is literally the same as Chicken Butler but it's a bit further out, it's a little bit out the way. So it, it literally has the same setup, you have like a block of um, floors and each floor they have like three different flats, flats, yep, 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 literally the same, it's just a bit further out. Um, and Wedderburn, whereas Chicken Butler and all the uh, comms around that area are mostly for first years. Wedderburn, um, which is next to Gower, is mostly for, you know, second, it's a mix. You'll have like second, third postgrads that kind of live over there, whilst also having first years. So it is generally mixed. It does depend on what you, you feel comfortable with. You could be potentially living with second and third years. So if you're right with that, if you just wanna, if you don't really care, if you wanna be able to learn from them, get advice, da 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 da, then definitely Wedderburn. However, I know that a lot of freshers <laughs> can be quite perky, spirited, high energy. <laughs> because when you're coming to a new uni, you're, you're excited. You wanna, you know, be able to make noise. You wanna be able to have fun, da 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 da. And not all second and third years are about that. Cheek and Butler would be perfect for first years because you're gonna be surrounded by first years. You're gonna be surrounded by people wanting to make new friends, wanting to hang out with you, wanting to get to know you. So. It really just depends on what you kind of want, what you're comfortable with. Number five. <laughs> Number five is Founders. I personally would have loved to put Founders at number one, only because I had I had an amazing experience with Founders. I loved it. I made a crap ton of friends and they're still some of my closest friends now. So I will always put Founders at number one, period. First of all, the aesthetics. I can't get over how beautiful it looks. Sometimes I go there and I'm just like, wow, this is my uni. Wow, this is where I live. Wow. <laughs> you know, I feel bougie AF. I feel like I'm in some kind of British boarding school. Um, not Hogwarts, more like, more like wild child. Unlike the other ones that I've mentioned, Founders is catered. So with the other ones, you'll all have a kitchen, you'll all be able to cook your own food. Um, but with Founders, it's catered so everything is provided by them. You, I mean you're giving a pantry but the pantry only has like a fridge in cupboards and, a, and boiling water. Like you can't really do much with that. <laughs> I will say though that the room sizes are freaking humongous. I personally loved the floor space that I had. Even though I had like a crap ton of stuff, I loved the fact that I had all the space around my bed and I was able to move in the room and you get a um a wash basin so if you don't know what that is it's literally just like a sink and a mirror but it's super handy i feel like having one of those in your room just makes everything a little easier however in founders the bathrooms are shared which can be problematic if you have mess if you're living with messy people or people who don't 
care for hygiene so yeah <laughs> that can be problematic that is literally my top five definitely have a think about those especially because i know that a lot of you freshers do want to be able to just have that social aspect and think about that social aspect when you're coming to royal holloway if you're coming to royal holloway um so yeah that's accommodation next is sports and societies you should be able to go onto the su site the su website for rhul and just kind of like have a look there should be like a whole list like a whole ass list <laughs> a whole list of all the societies all the different sports clubs and a bit about them and a, a bit about like where you can find out more information such as their social media page their email etc etc if you have any questions i'm a part of the acs society the fashion society and the women's football club when i tell you you need to step out of your comfort zone. Quick story time. Um, first year when I went to women's football, like the first kind of like session, I was so scared. I, I don't know if any of them know this, but I was like shaking in my boots because I went by myself. I didn't know anyone. I didn't have any, of, any friends. I literally went into the AstroTab and I was just standing around like this. Why? I don't know. <laughs> Why? I don't freaking know. <laughs> but the more that I went, the more I started loving it, the more I started opening up, getting to know the girls, getting to know my team, and I just loved playing with them. Now, before matches, I'm doing charts, I'm getting everybody hyped, I'm making jokes, we're having a laugh. But before, I was just so shy. But that's the thing, that is literally just a rite of passage. You have to go through that little stage of awkwardness, that little stage of uncomfortability. Uncomfortability? That's not a word. <laughs> that little stage of being uncomfortable and getting and moving past it so that you can make those friends, so that you can meet those new people and have those new experiences and make amazing memories. And I know now that it can be quite difficult because of COVID. Like I haven't seen the girls face to face in person in a training session for ages. Like it's crazy but clubs and societies are making an effort that's the beautiful thing clubs and societies are making an effort they are hosting things online doing challenges that you can do at home feeding you the information like they are keeping you busy anyway number four is jobs a lot of people have asked me about you know finding some kind of part-time job in the area or on campus and as a first year i would advise against it only because you do want to have the time and the freedom to do whatever you want however i do understand that because of the current circumstances you will have more time on your hands you will be able to you know pick up a shift or two here and there so in that case maybe you need a job and i got you i got you so if you're looking to work in the su which is the students union they will usually accept applications three times a year which is september jan and may <laughs> september jan and may so september when you first i mean i don't know if they'll accept it straight away because you've literally just come to the university you need some time to settle in and get to know the place before you start you know hopping into jobs hopping into jobs um <laughs> uh january would be the best option to apply um and if you've had previous experience then that's even better and then may is usually for you know going into second year and you want to have something to start off with in the area honestly most people tend to work in the restaurants and the pubs uh, i know the pack course is also part of the students union even though it is separate from campus but a lot of students work there so that's also definitely an option but to apply for that you have to go through the student union um but there are other pubs and restaurants that tend to um hire students and you could definitely apply for those like i've seen a lot of people work in the happy man in the red lion so definitely apply if they are hiring and see if you can if you have experience of course in that in those areas um and see if you can get yourself a job there next we're going to talk about the overall vibe of holloway as a university and the students that go there um uh, <laughs> a lot of people a lot of people have asked me about you know what it's like as a person of color um and i will get into that in another video i feel like that has its own own baggage all by itself <laughs> and it doesn't help being from you know a working class background 
because you know I didn't go to a private school I went to a very public school <laughs> what would the man do with that you know <laughs> it was it was not serious at all it was not serious at all but there are a lot of people here who have been to you know privileged private boarding schools who've had you know the wealthy backgrounds and stuff like that um and there's a mix and that's okay that's okay I, I, it can bother some people but to me it's not really about the background or where you're from it's just about what kind of person you are I think that's what really matters I do feel like the university could do with a little bit more spice in the sense that <laughs> and I mean that in the sense of like fashion wise just knowledge about culture London just that kind of energy it kind of lacks it's just like the references to culture kind of thing like not everybody's gonna get it and that's okay that's all right like i'm not gonna <laughs> i'm not gonna fight you because you don't know what the word paying means like that's fine but what i'm used to being from like luton and being a part of london culture and that kind of like aspect and world of things and stuff like that i'm used to that kind of vibe and that energy but royal holloway kind of lacks that i've had a lot of experiences of people where they kind of look down on me because you know i'm not i don't fit into that typical stereotype or demographic however <laughs> however don't let it get you down don't let it get you down i mean you're here for one thing only and that is to get your education actually no you're here for two things and that's to get your education and to have a good time so just do that just get your education and have a good time and you'll enjoy it okay so we're on to our final topic and that is all about freshers being a freshers and freshers week a lot of the times everybody will say that first year doesn't count and it doesn't however i will just let you guys know right now that you need to treat it like it doesn't count and i'm gonna tell you why if i had treated <laughs> if i had treated my first year like it didn't count then i wouldn't have regretted so much i feel like there were times where i felt like oh i could have done this oh i could have done that i could have gone to this event i could have enjoyed that night out so treat your first year like it doesn't count because it doesn't and you won't have regrets that's that's the main that's the main point i'm the thing is i'm going to be so honest right right now do your education because that's what you're here for just you know learn yeah learn <laughs> but i feel like in your first year you don't have to stress yourself out about it you don't have to be like oh my goodness i need to get that no chill relax because after your first year that's it every essay every exam every presentation that counts counts like it goes to your degree and those are the ones that you really need to work on but as for first year none of them go to your degree <laughs> and i just wish someone told me that in first year because then i would have enjoyed it more i wouldn't have to stress about every single thing i could just accept it accept what life was giving me accept what the universe was giving me and enjoy the ride be present so that's my that's my actual advice that's my actual advice that i want you guys to have um let's get into the fun stuff let's get to the fun stuff i can't even tell you guys what 2021 freshers might be like i have no idea but i can tell you about 2020 freshers and it was interesting very interesting um <laughs> i feel like I'm, a lot of the times people were just kind of congregating outside um you know bars were still open so people would go to bars in groups of six just kind of have that kind of vibe going on and chilling there having drinks stuff like that um which i did a lot of the time uh <laughs> what tended what tended what tended what usually happened was a lot of people were just kind of like congregating in big areas outside so for example outside but uh butler to williamson that kind of area where meds is there's like a a, a road there's a road <laughs> and loads of people just out especially i think it was on the first day back loads of people just standing in the road and standing like loads there must have been um maybe a hundred people there and they're just standing around talking stuff like that and the this is why i love freshers because you can literally talk to anybody this is your only time in the year where you can walk in on a conversation and no one's gonna blink twice the amount of time some some random 
<laughs> just came into our conversation was like yeah so where are you from <laughs> like it's just it's just that kind of vibe like and it's fine you can completely do that because that is your time to get to know it, everyone and anyone um and that's why i love freshers that's why i absolutely love it uh so that was going on um a lot of people not many people were doing house motives because you know covid but most of the times it is literally just bars and chilling outside drinking in some kind of field or something drinking in founders quad drinking in founders quad is a vibe drunk students are nine out of ten very friendly so <laughs> if you're looking for friendly drunk students you'll probably find them in founders quad because that is a vibe in regards to actual events like i know that the su were doing events but they they didn't really bang i'm not gonna lie because they had to be outside they didn't really bang <laughs> because it was outside i just I, I just didn't feel that you know immersive atmosphere uh so i didn't really like going to the su event i worked to them of course get your bag you would do it too for a check you would do it too for a check i did really like meds medicine was actually a bot they would do these like drinks discounted drinks like i don't know what time of night it was i think it must have been from like seven to nine or six to nine or something like that but the drinks were literally like two pounds so you could get yourself you know a glass of vodka lamb three vodka lambs for for a fiver <laughs> these accents that was literally the vibe and i feel like because it was inside you get the music you get people shouting over each other you get the spillages <laughs> it reminds me of a club it reminds me of a club and that's why i kind of liked it so definitely if you're freshers go to those medicine nights because those are massive shout thank you guys for tuning in and listening learning a bit more about holloway about things that you need to know if you're considering joining us in 2021 if you have any questions at all please leave a comment below or message me or dm me on instagram i'm usually active on there so if i missed your question in the comments i will definitely definitely read the dms 100 percent if you enjoyed this video please please do not forget to subscribe. I'm going to be putting out a lot more Royal Holloway videos because you guys really seem to like them. So I hope this helps and I will catch you guys in the next freaking video. We out. Uh -huh. Bye. Bought it, Chanel, she got it. Green, copped it, I should've never.